Okay, so it's day 11, and um, I guess yesterday I talked about how on the weekends you can sort of get yourself discombobulated if you don't stick to your routine. Um, I got up a little bit later than typical, um, and so I'm a little discombobulated. I took my supplements, and I was bored this morning. I'm going to sit down here before... I get ready to go to church. I like to do stuff before I go, you know, just to then be able to chill out some uh, before the whole day takes over. Because, uh, you know, we obviously want to spend time with the kids and be able to relax and not feel stressed for the week. So it's nice to get stuff done either before church or on Saturday. I had a really great but long day yesterday. So this morning I was sort of wandering <laughs> in circles. And it's so funny, like I want to make something really clear. I try to talk about stuff that's good to do. I don't always do everything I talk about. And it's not to be, you know, hypocritical or, you know, whatever. But, you know, I definitely subscribe to the 80% rule. If I can get this right 80% of the time, we're doing awesome. And I think the danger in doing the 100% rule is that it's this all or nothing attitude. It's... Uh, you want to be all in emotionally as far as, you know, my health is non-negotiable, uh, my family's time is non-negotiable. You definitely want to have non-negotiables, but you also have to be flexible because here's the thing. If you make a non-negotiable and then life happens, which it will, you have to be able to still enjoy the journey and the switch and not freak out when it just doesn't go your way. I think that's critical. Um... Mike last week at church was talking about adult tantrums, and I think that's so true. I mean, again, usually usually ours are passive-aggressive, <laughs> so, you know, we just, you know, you still have to live, and you still have to expect stuff to happen, you know, maybe once every three or four months, everything is, you know, you get the day, you hit the day, and everything, you got done what everything you wanted to get done, and, you know, that's like once, again, <laughs> maybe in a lifetime. So um, today I was sort of bored, and um, because I get fit food here in Roanoke, if you're a Roanoker, um, I had quinoa that was prepared actually with pesto, and I also ordered the tuna cakes, and there's some good tuna cake recipes. Maybe I'll try to get that up, because I'm sure I'll get requests for it. Uh, th this particular tuna cake, I don't have the recipe, because it's um, fit food's recipe, but so what I did is I had it, and I'm just pressing the tuna cake into my quinoa, which was a pesto-flavored quinoa, and the quinoa comes in a container like this, so it's the right portion, and it has just a little, like a teaspoon of pesto that you can, um, you know, stir through it when you're ready to eat it. It looks really, really pretty with some tomatoes. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking my tuna cake, which is made with eggs and oatmeal, not breadcrumbs, and I'm pressing it into my quinoa, and so I'm having a very alternative breakfast. But the truth is, I just didn't feel like eggs and oatmeal today. I just didn't. So um, one of the things when you're training for a show, um, a meal is a snack, is a snack is a meal. And that's what I teach people. As long as you have some protein, healthy carbs, and a little bit of fat at each meal, you're good to go. And based on what your life is doing that particular day, just make sure you have these things set up but you can certainly interchange them, and you should be fine. So that's what I'm doing, and I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, again, a different alternative breakfast. And um, that's it. It takes me two seconds to do this. So if you're doing this on your own, you know, if you're going to have brown rice or you're going to have quinoa, certainly make extra portions. You have to start reading labels. Separate out the portions in containers like this or get Rubbermaids. Make sure they're in your refrigerator ready to go. And um, you will find it a lot easier and a lot less expensive uh, to eat healthy. So that's what I got for you today. And I'm going to get this on a plate. I'm going to go eat it. And it's probably going to be too hot and I'm going to burn my tongue. So I'll let you know on this one. It's really good. Alrighty. I'm out of here.